Hello, Pisces. Welcome and welcome back to Pisces Network, you guys. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, get into it. And once you get into it, if it's resonating, put a brain in the comments because that's what we do over here, okay? I hope you all are doing well. Thank you so much for all of you guys being here. Let's see what the messages are for Pisces. Guardian angels, archangels. Spirit guides and ancestors, what does Pisces need to know at this time? Don't take the bait. <laughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> Excuse me, Jesus. So that, that's very clear, Pisces. You're being guided not to take the bait. Yeah, choose wisely. There's definitely a decision that you have to make here, Pisces. And Spirit is trying to help guide you not to be seduced into something. They don't want you to be seduced into something. What is this? They don't want you to be tricked and beguiled into maybe coming out of the water or coming out of your emotions. Uh, what is that? What is that that people say? Coming out of character or something like that? Yeah. Someone, uh, spirit doesn't want you to come out of your character when it comes to dealing with a person or a situation. They don't want you to, they don't want you to allow yourself to be baited into some type of BS, okay? Y'all be sure to hit the like button. What is this about? What do you not want Pisces to take the bait on? Don't take the bait for Pisces. What is this referring to, spirit? What is this referring to for Pisces? Don't take the bait. Yeah. Somebody's trying to get you to do something for them so they don't have to do it. I don't know what this is. Somebody's trying to get you to take some type of action to do something or they're trying to influence you to do something so that they don't have to do it. They want you to be the scapegoat. They want you to be the fall guy. They want you to be the one who gets in trouble or they want you to be the one who has to deal with the repercussions of a situation. This could be your friend, okay? This is involving a group of friends, cousins, siblings, possibly. This could be when it comes to gossip. I just heard talking shit, okay? King of coins. It kind of feels like somebody's doing something and they want you to be the one to do it. Like, how do I explain this? It kind of feels like, okay, if you have a sleepover as a kid and you're with a group of your friends and you're like supposed to be in bed and, you know, whoever's parents, you know, from the sleepover or whatever, whoever's parents said, okay, it's bedtime, guys. Y'all got to get in your sleeping bags and lay down. Okay, so everybody's laying down. But then somebody's like, oh, I want a snack. I want to go get some ice cream out the freezer downstairs. But you know you're not supposed to get up or like more so not a sleepover, but more so like think about it with cousins, family members, like you were kids and you were at your grandma's house and all the cousins were together and grandma said, take your ass to bed. But somebody, your cousin wanted some ice cream out the freezer and they was like, oh, Pisces, you go get the ice cream because you're more quiet when you, you know, step. And grandma not going to hear you because you're going to be more quiet. But really, in reality, they want you to be the one to, to take the punishment or to get in trouble if you get caught. It's like somebody's trying to flatter you into digging your own grave in a situation. Like if it was a group project at school, they're like, oh, you raise your hand. You ask the question because you know more. Or you do this because you know more. But then if the teacher has bad uh, feedback from the project, everybody's like, oh, Pisces is the one who did it. And they're going to blame it on you when in reality, they were the one who coaxed you into it. That's what I feel. Okay, what is this action? What's this night? What's this night of wands? Yeah, what's this Knight of Wands? Yeah, Knight of Swords. It's about saying something. They want you to be the... You say it, Pisces. You say it, Pisces. Yeah, and then the Queen of Wands. Yeah. Queen of Coins. Yeah. 
it's like somebody sees i don't know if they see you as the older one or the more mature one or the one who knows more or whatever but it's like Yeah, I feel like somebody wants you to be the fall guy or the scapegoat in a situation. What is this Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands? Can I get one more card? I just heard this the last one. This the last time. Yep, and then there goes that Ten of Swords. But it kind of came out in reverse, and I flipped it. It came out like this, and then I did like that. So... Yeah, it's like somebody who's supposed to be on your team, somebody who's supposed to have your back, somebody who's supposed to be like on your side is betraying you or they're trying to betray you. But they're positioning it by saying that they have your back. Like, however they're betraying you, they're prefacing it or explaining it as if they have your back, but really they don't. Queen of Cups and the Hangman, yeah. Yeah. I feel like you know this to a certain degree. I feel like you know this because you're hesitating or you're a little hesitant to take action on whatever this is. Hmm. It's like you don't want to do this. You don't want to say something. Whatever this is, it's quick though. It's like quick. It's like they're like, do it, do it, do it, do it. And you you just like, oh, you know what I mean? Let me do it. And Spirit is like, no, sit your ass down. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> okay. Or this could be something that you said. And now somebody's trying to twist it and say that you were the one who had the idea or you're the one who said it. But in reality, it's like they, whatever input that they had in the situation coaxed you to say whatever you said. And had they not input their portion, you would have never said that. But they're trying to make it seem like it was your original idea. It was your creation. When in reality, it was really their creation. I don't know. Okay, so... Purify came out, New Year's came out, and Submerged Emotions. So something about January, New Year's, 2024, maybe the beginning of 2023. Emotions that are submerged. Someone's feelings run really deep, but they are concealed. So yeah, it's like maybe someone wants you to communicate like... I mean, because we saw the Queen of Coins, Queen of Cups now at the bottom, and then we saw the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Swords is the only one missing. So I feel like somebody wants you to communicate or say something. They want you to communicate their feelings or they want you to say something about how they feel, but they don't want to be the one to say it. They want you to be the one to say it so you can get whatever fallback or repercussions come along with saying whatever this is. Whoever this is has been feeling like this since... The new year, they've been feeling like this since the beginning of the year. Something has been going on since the beginning of 2023. It's like somebody wants to clear the air, purify. I'm getting like something about cleansing or clearing the air. We have arrested and then lying. Yeah. Yeah, someone cannot detach from their feelings or they're, they're, it's like someone has to get this off their chest for in order for them to stop thinking about it or in order for them to get it off their mind, they have to get it off their chest and say it. But yeah, somebody's lying. I don't know what this is. Maybe y'all know what it is. I don't know. It feels kind of like a trap. <laughs> okay. It feels a little trappy to me. It feels like a trap. And then they're raising their right hand. So it's like court. 
saying something under oath. Somebody may have lied under oath. Somebody may be held in contempt of court, lying under oath, or like breaking some type of contract or someone, something. Someone may be getting arrested for lying, but that's very specific. I just feel like <coughs> spirit wants you to purify your energy. But they want to be they want you to be very careful about taking action on someone else's behalf because I feel like someone is tricking you into taking action. It's like they this could be a collective thing too cuz it's a lot of this bullshit going on. Um there may be someone who's trying to pull on your heartstrings with the Queen of Cups. Someone may be trying to get you emotionally invested in something so you can be the one to say something or you can be the one to take action or you can be the one to stand up where they cannot. That's what I feel. Shit. It's like somebody's projecting on you some type of frustration or a, they're, they're manipulating your thoughts and your emotions to get you emotionally invested in something so you can take the action that they're too cowardly to take. Because they don't want to be the one to be uh, ridiculed. They don't want to be the one to be canceled. They don't want to be the one to have any repercussions happen. So they rather they would rather trigger your emotions in order for you to say something. Because it's not only just that they want you to say something, but it's like they see strength in you. And this is like showing this person's weaknesses. They see strength in you. But it's like they're they're manipulating your ego or they're manipulating your pride in some way. They may be trying to blow your head up or gas you up to say something so that they won't take the fall. And that's just what it is. Or they're gassing you up to become emotionally invested in something so they can say it was your idea instead of theirs. But really, they're the one who planted the seed of thought in your mind. That's what it is. Okay, what else for Pisces? Unlikely in the reverse. So it's very likely that this is what's happening. What else for Pisces, Spirit? Yes, and take action. Interesting. <clears throat> I feel like somebody wants you to do this, though. I feel like this is somebody saying, yes, do it, Pisces. Do it, do it, do it. Like, they're egging you on. But it's like, Spirit is like, hold on, bitch. Sit down for a minute. But I feel like, yes, this is what they're doing. Yes, they want you to take action. But it's like, this is unnecessarily causing stress in your life, Pisces, or this is something that that's not your problem. And the last reading we just did was talking about at the beginning, I channeled somebody trying to make their problem, your problem. Yeah. Compromised, influenced by lower entities, influenced by substances, energy cleanse needed, mental infiltration. So whoever this is, is trying to get something off of their chest through you. They're trying to get you to take responsibility for getting something off their chest or for doing something that they need to do themselves. But see, the thing about it, it doesn't matter if you do it for them or not. Like until they do what they need to do for themselves, they're still going to feel this pressure of these emotions. I think you're starting to realize that someone is trying to put their emotions on you or pressure you with their emotions so that they don't have to fucking deal with them. And spirit is like, don't do that. Whether it's something minuscule and small or whether it's something major. Spirit is telling you not to take on other people's baggage. Or not to take action after being influenced intuitively by other people, because people can do that. They don't, it, they don't have to know what they're doing. They don't have to have any mastery of these skills. Some people just have gifts to be able to do this type of thing, to be able to influence people. And it could be intentionally sinister, or it could be just a survival mechanism, but either way, spirit is wanting you to identify this and they want you to identify your susceptibility to this so that you're not taking on other people's baggage and you're not basically digging a hole for yourself from somebody who has a compromised energy that's causing you some type of unnecessary stress, okay? That's what I feel, Pisces. So I hope you liked the video. Be sure to like the video, subscribe.
If you would like to donate or contribute, please use the PayPal or Zelle information below. I love you guys. Put the brains in the comments if it resonated. And I will see you all next time. Remember, Pisces, this is our circle booze. Bye.